What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Alice poster that I made a while ago. So hopefully you guys remember it from the Instagram, but you've been asking for it today. I put a poll up and a few of you said the Alison poster, so I'm going to make this now. Uh, bring it to you. It's really simple to do. A lot of textures and a lot of layering up. Like, you know, you know the drill. We've done it before. We do it in other videos. So, let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay guys, so... What you need to do first is get your background layer. So I've got this background image, 1080 by 1350, standard definition size for Instagram. Uh, let me just flip the chair up a bit. Um, and what you're going to need to do first, once you've got your background, is download textures. There will be a link in the description below, so you download those and you'll be presented with this. So what I'm going to do with this video, guys, is I'm going to make the whole post of you. I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm going to show you all the little bits you need to do. And then when I get to the camera raw filter bit, I'm going to stop. So I'm just going to put an image of my poster up and then I'm going to leave. Uh, I'm going to leave it to you guys to test yourselves out. Basically, I want you to use camera raw filter. I want you to make the poster yourself. And then I want you to post them on Instagram and at me at, with it. So tag me in it so I can see if you guys are learning and basically see how your camera raw skills are. So I think this will be a fun little technique. So. If you don't if you don't want to do it you don't have to um, I've got many other tutorials with camera or filter in it but what I want to see is if you guys know how to use it so moving on let's get straight into the tutorial so what the first thing you need to do is get your background layer and then we're going to change the color of this so unlock it then we're going to go to edit fill and we're going to go to a 50% gray mm. now we're just going to click color and we're going to get a light gray so about there that's fine and just basically do that so what we're going to do is go to our texture packs and we're going to go to textures scroll down and you'll see this image here so it's a bit below but just just click and drag and we're going to place it on top of our image here so it's already got textures applied to it so you don't really need to worry about that you just need to place it in and what we're going to do is change the opacity to 50 percent and then we're going to probably leave it like that you don't really need to add anything else to it see if you if you start changing the blending out oh, so we're just going to leave it at normal for now and we're going to go get another texture so this is going to be the grunge texture so we're going to bring this over and apply this so this is good, going to make the image look really good so this needs to be uh reduced down to 20 percent so we're going to reduce it down get to about 20 percent like so and then we're going to change this to overlay it's made it a little bit darker a bit better contrast going on uh, and overall it's just made the image look a bit better so the next thing we we'll need to do is get a green block of color so I have made all these assets in the texture pack for you so you don't really need to do anything yourself so if you want to make it yourself go ahead but just for the tutorial sake and to make it quicker for you guys I've made them already so if you go down to your assets you want to turn textures off just so you can see the assets uh, turn it on so there's a green block here they're all in position technically for where they're going to be in the poster. But what we're going to do, we're going to take the uh, green block, which is here, drag it in and place it on our design. Now, obviously, you're going to need to position it where you think it's meant to be. So it's me basically, it's meant to be somewhere like that. And now we're going to paste our green block in like that. And that looks all good. So we can change this to a blending mode if we want to. But I'm going to leave it like that for now. So, moving on. A few moments later. Okay guys, so welcome back. We've got our green block in. The next thing we're gonna do is get some images. So what we're gonna do is go to our texture pack and we're gonna close the assets panel and we're gonna go to Allison images. Now, we're gonna get the bottom two first. So this one and this one. So we're gonna drag these in. Then we're gonna drop them like that. And now you just need to position them where you think they're meant to be. So on the poster, I've got it about there. That looks pretty good to me. I've got one that's grey and then I've got one that's like in the middle, which looks pretty big. So I've already cut them out and everything, so just drop them in like that. Now what we're going to do is add some green triangles. Now, these are going to go down to the right here. Again, I've made these already, so you just need to go to your assets, get the green triangles or rectangles, whatever they were. Yeah, rectangles. So click green rectangles, drag, drag and this is where they're going to go. So you want to make sure they're beneath the Allison images. So put them by the green block, like so. That's just a nice placeholder and fills up that bit of space. So once you've added them in, we're going to get Allison, the heading. So select your type tool. Get um, Anton font. 
so you guys should have this by now if you don't it's online just download it it's pretty simple um, just do that then I'm going to increase the size of this so it fills the whole page and I'm going to make sure I change it to a white color so so that you can see it better obviously so something like that that's good block color sits in there really nicely so we can lift it up a bit if you want and then what we're going to do is go get a texture and clipping mask it to that image so if turn textures on I'm going to go down here uh, we're going to get this texture here Adobe uh, stock 233 and then we're going to drag and drop it in make sure it's positioned above this lovely uh, bit of heading we've got and I've already applied the differences to it so you want to change it to difference in the blending mode and then reduce it down to 28% and then you're good to go so what we need to do now is clip and mask it to it so you can't see it over the whole image and there we go it's done so moving on okay guys so the next thing we're going to do is add in some grass so again go to your texture pack get some grass and we're going to drop it in what we're going to need to do here we're going to lift it up a bit so you can see it so put it somewhere around there that looks pretty good to me so it's filled up the bottom of the document which is going to let this load up and now we're going to get an image of Allison running and kicking the ball so we might just go close the textures off and we're going to scroll down get this last image of Allison and drop him in so that looks good right so we know where he is that's where he's going to go um, now we're just going to add some shadows in so we're going to create a new layer below him and name this shadow so name shadow uh, get your brush tool now we're going to go to the brush options and make it really thin so we can get a nice little flat uh, shadow design. And we're just going to go by his feet. I'm going to zoom in like so. I'm just going to drop a shadow in there. Just, it just basically makes him look a bit more like realistic and as, it, as if he's actually like in the design. And we can put one there and reduce the opacity down to about 50%. Change it to multiply. That basically just helps out the design. So there we go. Nice little shadow for him. Which makes him look a bit more realistic we can increase it again if you find it too soft so about 70 percent that looks good to me so now what we're going to do is add some squares in on the left here by his feet so if you go to our textures again as i said i've set it all up for you guys but if you want to design it yourself you can do this uh, i've just done this to make it quicker so hold shift and get both squares and then you're just going to drop them in command t and we're just going to position them over here so it doesn't matter if it's below Allison's foot or anything, just put them down by where the green block is. There we go, they're in the bottom of the design there. Another nice placeholder filling up the design. So we've got that all done now. Now what we're gonna do is probably get a bit more text. So we're gonna use our type tool and we're just gonna type up here. So we're gonna type Becca. So this is gonna be placed up here. I wanna make this fairly big, just so it fills a nice little bit of the design, like not too big. Uh, make sure you change this one to white. And then we're going to duplicate this. Now, this is a bit bigger than the previous design I've done, but uh, I don't really mind it being too big because it fills up the nice, like, empty space. So, keep the first two fine, like this. They're fine like that. Um, but we can change this middle one. So, what we're going to do is reduce the fill so you can't see it. Double click on it, get a stroke. Now, I want the stroke to be about one. And then we're going to change the color of stroke to the green that we've used on here. That looks really nice. Nice little effect in there. And then we're just going to group these together like that. And it just basically keeps it all in check. So we've got the Becca text. Now we need to basically add some paper texture along the bottom of the design. So you'll see in the previous post that I showed that it needs to be on the bottom. And then we're going to add some metal texture over the top as well. So let's go back to our texture pack. And then we're going to find this paper texture here, which has already got the effects applied. And we're going to drag and drop it in. Now, as you can see, it looks way too way too harsh on the design there so we're just going to move it down to about here somewhere like that and then what we're going to do is change it to a color dodge so let's go down color dodge looks pretty good to me adds a nice effect on the paper uh, on the grass sorry uh, which looks really nice and then we're going to go and add in some metal texture which is this one so I've added a layer mask so that I've basically masked out the middle so it doesn't have too much of a harsh effect on the design uh, and I'm going to position it like that and then basically what we're going to do is change it to a overlay nice now you can move this up as well if you think it's too harsh that adds a really nice effect on the background just it makes it look like a metal uh, plate which everything's lay on which looks really good so now we're going to add some more text in uh, text in uh, we're just going to go and get our text tool and type match day. Now, you want to make this quite small, but not too small that you can't see it. So something like that. And then rotate it on its side and put it up the side of the design. So somewhere like that. That looks really good. 
And then what we're going to do is hold Alt and just drag more out. And then we're just going to basically um, position them where we see fit. And basically, by doing this, we are able to create a nice little overlay, which we'll see in a minute. So if we select them all, position them so they've got the same width, group them together, change this to match day. Then what we're going to do is change this to overlay. Looks really nice at the side of the poster, and it works really well. So once we've got that in, we're going to add three more textures, and then we're going to get to the camera all bit. So maybe I'll show you how I would start it off, but I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I want you guys to test it out yourself. So go to your texture pack, get the particles layer, drag and drop it in, which the particles layer is number two. As you can see, it doesn't look too good like that. So we're going to change this to lighter color, I think. No, we're going to change it to color dodge. Yeah, color dodge looks good. So it's, you can see the particles now. And then we're going to change, uh, we're going to add in this black paper color, change this to divide once it gets in. Uh, if I just move it down a little bit. So make sure you position it well, somewhere about there. That's good. And then we're going to go to our blending options, change this to divide, which is all the way down at the bottom. Now you can move this up as well if you don't if you don't like it. You don't even have to add it in if you don't like it, but it just adds another nice texture to the design. And then we're going to use our final paper texture, which is going to be paper end. It's called. Position this in the middle of the design, and then change it to multiply. And there we go. So we've got a nice little paper texture there over the block of color. And now you can just group it all together like so. Um, and there we go. So command shift, command shift, option E, and now you've got a screenshot. And now you can start your camera or filter process. So I'm gonna speed through this. I think I'm gonna speed this up, and then you can obviously go back and you can do it yourself. So uh, I'll be back when I'm finished. Hey guys welcome back so i sped through that really quickly i haven't done it obviously the best that it could be but i've just basically done it really quick and made it really nice so basically what we're looking for here is a nice green and blue effect on this camera or filter now you can add other things afterwards like a color lookup or anything like that but this is what i've got for today so i hope you've enjoyed the video i can't wait to see you guys's uh, responses on instagram when you at me in them just let me know and uh, if you have any problems with it let me know in the comments so uh yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And obviously drop a subscription if you are new here. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.